Hello everybody. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to download Laka and flash it to your SD card. It's a pretty simple process. In the video, we're gonna go ahead and go to their website and we're gonna download it directly. After it's been downloaded, we're gonna go and find a piece of software that will allow us to flash it to the card on Mac OS X. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is Google Laka. That way we can find it pretty quickly. The first option here, we're just gonna click it once. And we're gonna click get the top. And we're gonna click get Laka again. And in our situation, we're gonna be downloading it to a Raspberry Pi 3. So we're gonna hit GNU Linux. And we're gonna select the Raspberry Pi 3 from the options. There's actually a multitude of options here. And then we're gonna click download Laka. Once Laka has been successfully downloaded, it will show up in your downloads folder. And to extract it, we can just click it once and right click and open with the unarchiver. This will extract Laka into an IMG file. And this is the file that we're gonna use to burn to our SD card. Now that Laka has been downloaded, we are going to get a program called Etcher and we're gonna use this to write the IMG file back into the SD card. So we're gonna search for Etcher, I spelled that wrong. There it is. And it's the first one, Etcher by Risen IO. And we're just gonna download that. And once that's finished downloading, we're gonna double click to open the file. And then we're just gonna drag the Etcher icon into the applications folder. And close it when we're done. Once Etcher has been installed in the applications folder, you can open it and you will be greeted with this screen. You can either click this blue button to select your image or you can just drag it from your downloads folder directly onto the application itself. Once it's there, you wanna make sure that you select the correct thumb drive. In this case, by default, it has selected my external hard drive, which is definitely not the one we want. So I'm gonna hit change. I'm gonna select my 16 gigabyte SD card and hit continue. And lastly, I'm gonna hit the flash button. It will then ask for your password to get permission to write to the card. And the flashing will begin. You can see the time remaining in this bottom left area and the speed in which it's writing in the top right area. And after a write pass, it will then do a verify pass to make sure that everything is in place and properly written. As you can see, the validation process is more than twice as fast as the writing process. And there it is. The flash is completed successfully. Etcher will also automatically eject the SD card reader for you, so you don't have to worry about ejecting it from Mac OS X. Now you just put the card in your Raspberry Pi or whatever device you're using and boot it up, which we will do now. You're also free to close Etcher when you're finished. Once Laka has been booted for the first time, it will resize and check the file system. This is preparing the SD card for first use. Laka will then automatically reboot itself. On the following reboot, you should be greeted with the familiar blue screen. And that's it for this video tutorial. We hope this was helpful and we'll see you in the next one.